Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And um, I really what I came to do today is to briefly recap last night's preseason game, what I saw out of the position groups and maybe highlight an individual player or two. Um, so overall, pleased with what I saw as far as the under center stuff, as far as the quick passing game. I was I was really happy to see to see those things offensively. Um defensively. I think they flew around. I think guys made plays when opportunity presented themselves. Um, I think that it was an overall good showing as far as the team and you know what they're what they're trying to establish. I don't know how vanilla they were on either side of the ball because again I'm not privy to the playbook, but I like the effort from the guys. Uh, guys were flying around. Guys were making plays, um, you know, given opportunity, they, they, a lot of guys did what they needed to do to try to make the team. Uh, let's kind of start with the individual uh, groups, and I'll start on the offense. Um, and I don't even know. And I'll start with the offense. i start with the uh, quarterbacks. Huntley, our quarterbacks were extremely efficient. Totally, they were 28 for 35. Huntley himself was 16 for 18 with 109 yards, which was was crazy. And the Brown came in 10 for um, 15. That's 66.7 percent or 66.6 percent. Uh, 117 yards. That is not bad. And then Hudley had was two for two. Hudley with a D was two for two. So extremely efficient for the quarterbacks. Pass with 268 total yards. Um, Two TDs. I think it was two TDs. No, one TD. One TD. And um, I was I was pleased with the quarterback group. Took what the defense gave them. Got the ball out quick. Uh, not a lot of runs, like design runs. I think one uh, Huntley got a – Snoop got a first down and should have stepped out of bounds and didn't. Uh, running backs, Mike Davis looked apart. Mike Davis looked like he could, you know, carry the load with um, – Another back, whoever that other back is, until Gus is ready. So, you know, Mike Davis looked apart to me. Uh, Batty looked quick in his cuts. Um, Justice looked the quickest. He didn't have the best blocking on his plays, but he looked the quickest. So um, I think Justice is not going to go down without a fight as far as trying to make that running back room. Uh, Repass was catching receivers, which is everybody's topic of discussion, the the – <laughs> the, the the black sheep of the group. Um, my guy Polk had the most targets. He had eight, and he had the most catches with six. So he was six for forty three. But um, Jamar Bridges showed out. Went over top of a dude head. Got a um, touchdown. Got another fade ball later in the game. So I think as out of the UDFA's, Bridges is a leader in the clubhouse. Um, likely had a great game. Uh, had four catches. He went over top of a dude head and caught a ball on a deep over route. Um, Victor had an okay game. Uh, I think he – I don't know if he would have had a touchdown, but he definitely would have caught that, that deep ball where he jumped I think if he just kept running. Um, and everybody else was, you know, was solid. They were solid. But the, in, the, in the the receivers, out of the receivers, the ones that stood out to me was Bridges and likely, like up here, Polk right up under there because Polk really didn't make a mistake and probably should have had a, if not for pass interference, even though he didn't call it, he had an attempt at a touchdown too. Um, let's flip to the other side. I don't want to stay too long. To the defense. Uh, with two interceptions on defense, Worley got one, Stone got another. But as far as guys that stood out defensively, I'm trying to get to the defensive stats. Um, Travis Jones. He was one of the guys I was looking forward to seeing. Travis stood out to me. He got a sack. Um, pushed the pocket in on pass downs. Uh, got off some blocks and run downs. Um, he looked apart to me. He really did. He really looked apart. And I, you know what? Let me go back. I'm getting ahead of myself. I skipped over O line because O line didn't have stats. Um, who stood out for me on O line? Falele. Lele looked really solid playing that right tackle. I don't know what that means going forward. 
But Falele looked really solid on that right tackle. Um, Tyree looked good at guard. Ben looked okay at right guard. Um, had a couple, I think two not great snaps with uh, Macari at center. Then Cologne came in to, to close it out. Um, so, you know, solid solid play by the O-line. It wasn't, it, nothing really glaring bad happened up front. So, um, it was a solid play by O-line. But now, back to defense. Uh, Travis did his thing, man. Travis was blowing guys up, getting off blocks, got a sack. Um, they didn't look predictable. Um, we did have some missed tackles by who was missing those tackles early. I think Tony and Kyle Hamilton missed one together. Um, Malik, after after the fumble, missed a couple tackles. Um, the DBs were they were okay. They were okay. Nothing, you know. Nobody made a this glaring play other than the, the two interceptions. And the interception by Worley, I think the receiver did one too many moves and came back to Worley, and he was able to, to get that interception. The ball was thrown bad at two, so. But good job of Worley being in position to get that. But I will say this about Stone. Even though he missed a tackle or two, he was flying around. He was flying through there trying to, trying to cause havoc. Um, Isaiah Mack didn't look bad. Means definitely didn't look bad. Means playing, even though it was odd looking at a linebacker at number 60, he didn't play bad at all either. Um, see who else. I think Welch missed a bunch of tackles. And um, I really want to go back and look at the reps from uh, Fago, McLean, Moon, and um, what's my other linebacker from Michigan? Josh Ross. I really want to go back and look at them. And looking at the stat sheet, Ross had four. Four tackles. Him and Worley had the most tackles with four piece. I'm definitely excited to go back and see what they did. But overall, I'm pleased with, with what I saw. Um, really excited to dig into the, the film and, and kind of get some new ones of it. Even though we don't have the all 22, I'm going to pull what I can off of it. And uh, that's my, my recap, my synopsis of the Ravens defeating the Titans. The Titans. What was the score? 23 to 10, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 23 to 10. And um, you know, I'll see you guys soon with the with the film session on on the game, man. Peace.